1. Acne Is It Contagious? Acne is one of the most common disorders that trouble us. Many of us get acne even when we grow up. Acne spoils our looks and affects our confidence. The scars are as bad and make us self-conscious. Can acne be contagious? Should we keep away from acne sufferers? For any diseases or condition to be contagious, there has been an agent that is passed on from one person to another. Like in ringworm, where one can pass on the fungus and affect another person. Acne causes have nothing that can be passed on from one person to another. There is nothing that we can catch from others and that will cause acne on our skin. Acne is caused by the excess production of sebum that is hormonal. The gland block that forms and makes the sebum remain inside is only dead skin and is also caused by hormonal and other unknown reasons. The bacteria P. acnes that inflames the acne is found on the skin of all of us. None of these three reasons for causing acne can be passed on. So acne is not contagious. Avoid stress. Whenever you take any hormones or are nearing pregnancy, consult your doctor about acne possibility and prevent it. Keep your top layer of the skin healthy by use of ahas etc. Wash your face twice a day and keep it clean of dirt and oils. 2. Acne Does Sunshine Improve It? Acne has many treatments. Being a very common problem, people have found their own ways of treating acne. Some of them don't cure acne but may further damage the skin. Many of us believe that acne can be treated by getting exposed to sun, but is it true? Let us find out the truth. Once we know about what causes acne, we can find out if sunshine affects any of them. The causes of acne are very simple. Because of hormonal changes and sometime pressure or chemicals, body produces more sebum. The gland keeps on producing sebum, but the gland opening gets closed with dead skin. This makes the gland expand like a balloon. The bacteria P. acnes infects the gland and inflames it. This gland forms the acne. If the infection is not severe you will call it black head or white heads, otherwise pimples, cystic acne etc. Every acne treatment tries to address one or more of the causes of acne formation. Sunlight does not address any of the causes. What it does is to either burn the skin or tan it. With tanned look, acne looks less apparent and we believe that it is going away. But that is not true. Rather sun damages the skin and may cause early wrinkles, aging and even cancer. Please consult your doctor about acne treatment and stop believing that sun can cure it. Myths about acne die hard. Old wives' tales about its causes continue to persist, in spite of scientific condition to the contrary. This article aims to shed light on some common myths about acne and attempts to separate fact from fiction. 3. Are people who have acne impure and maintain poor hygiene? There is absolutely no truth to this statement. Acne is caused by a hormonal imbalance in the body. When the oil glands responsible for keeping our skin waterproof and moist, overreact to produce excessive quantities of sebum, they block the associated hair follicle, causing clogged pores, which develops into acne. So hygiene has absolutely nothing to do with it. In fact, unnecessary scrubbing of the skin can exacerbate the problem. Do take care of your skin though, wash your face gently and pat dry. 4. Will eating the wrong foods lead to acne? The fact is that there is no correlation between what you eat and acne. The chocolates, the french fries, the cheese pizza, and all those other fatty foods that have been lambasted ever so often, because of their unhealthy consequence have no affect whatsoever on your skin. However, eating a well-balanced diet makes sense. So while you don't have to be concerned as to whether your favorite treat affects your skin, at least directly, do remember that it does affect your overall health. 5. Is acne caused by stress? The truth is that the stress that most of us experience as part of our day-to-day -day existence does not lead to acne. Sometimes, acne can arise as the side effect of drugs taken to treat severe stress. Talk to your doctor to find out if your stress medication is responsible for your acne. Stress can however make an already existing acne condition worse. 6. Is acne simply a cosmetic disease? Well, acne does affect the way you look and yes, it is considered a threat to your physical well-being. However, the fact remains that in some cases acne can lead to permanent scarring which is more than just purely cosmetic. Acne affects people psychologically. 
It is known to affect their perception of themselves, their self-esteem and confidence and their interaction with others. It can cause feelings of frustration, depression and social embarrassment. 7. Can acne be cured? With the kind of products that are available in the market today, there is no reason why anyone should have to suffer the agony caused by acne. The fact is that acne can be cleared up with the right medication and a regime specific to their needs. Consult your dermatologist if you have acne. 8. Do chocolates make acne worse? Many people believe that chocolates make acne worse. Many people believe that oily food will cause oily skin and make them more susceptible to acne. Acne formation does depend on stress. Genetics may have a definite role in acne formation. Why a teenager has got face full of spots, while other gets none. These are the mysteries of human body. Both produce hormones and both are at the age when most of the teenagers should expect acne. But some of them don't get any. Some of them not only get acne in adolescence but keep on getting it as they grow up. 9. Are the acne scars treated? Acne scars leave their mark not only on the skin but also on the sufferer's psyche. With rapid developments in dermatology, treating acne scars is becoming easier. Please consult your dermatologist about the best treatment for your acne scars. The choice will depend upon your medical history, the type of scar and the kinds of treatments available for that type of scarring. Some treatments are cheaper than others but may not give perfect results. The choice therefore also depends upon your budget and the kind of results you desire. Let us look at the kinds of treatments available for acne scars. Dermabrasion This is considered one of the most effective treatments for acne scars. In this procedure the doctor uses a local anesthetic or freezes the skin and then uses a high-speed rotary abrader to remove unwanted surface skin. As the skin heals, it shows a brighter appearance. This procedure may remove superficial scars altogether and reduces deeper scars. Chemical peeling, depending on the scar, your doctor will apply a mild chemical peel on the affected skin. This slowly peels away the old skin and brings in fresh skin. Mild scars can be treated with chemical peels. Laser therapy lasers of different types are used by the doctor to give a new shape to the scarred skin by recontouring the scars. The high burst of laser may leave the skin red for some time. Soft tissue filling collagen that may be bovine in source or patient's own may be injected below the scar to lift the skin and give a smooth appearance. As the injected collagen gets absorbed in the body over a period, further treatments may be needed after about six months. Similarly fat may be injected below deep scars for giving a lift to the skin. Similar to collagen filling, fat injections may need to be repeated after some months. Your doctor will advise you about that. Skin surgery skin may have to be surgically corrected with grafting or other procedures to remove some scars. Microdermabrasion in this procedure very tiny aluminum oxide crystals are passed through a vacuum tube to scrape the surface of the skin. This procedure may have to be repeated many times, and D gives a fresh look to the skin by scraping. Very mild scarring can be treated with microdermabrasion. For people who have the tendency to form keloids, no surgical method can be used. If one can develop keloid with acne injury, more keloids will be formed by further surgery. Steroid injections may be used to treat keloids. In some cases topical retinoic acid is applied directly on the keloids. 10. Are acne and food connected? There may be a connection between eating a particular food and getting acne. But science has yet to come to a conclusion about it. That does not mean that your acne may not be getting by a particular food. Science has not solved all the mysteries and many of grandma's recipes work for no scientific reason. It is for you to make a chart of food and acne. Whenever you get a flare up, try to find out if you had eaten any particular food. If this match continues, avoid that food. 11. Does acne affect adults? Acne is often regarded as a major teenager's problem. Although there are several adults who also suffers from what we call adult acne. Adults in their 20s and beyond can still experience acne, and the negative effects of stress adds to the strain of having it pop up in their face. Studies show that mental stress can be a major cause in developing acne for adults. Moreover, women are likely to suffer from it because they are more exposed to stress which they acquire throughout their daily lifestyle. 
they are also prone to hormonal imbalances, especially at times when they have their monthly menstruation and during pregnancy. The environment is another factor in developing adult acne. If your surroundings are always dirty, most likely all the dust will be carried through the wind and eventually land on your face. If left unwashed, these dust and dirt can clog up your pores and infect them making the pore inflamed. Just like teen acne, the best treatment that you can avail of is maintaining proper skin care and a healthy personal hygiene. Take a bath every day, and use mild soap only so that your acne won't further develop into an infection. Also watch out for your diet. Drink enough water and exclude from your meal some oily foods. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Take enough sleep and rest. It will relax your skin pores and eventually prevent acne from developing. The lifestyle of an adult is an important factor in the appearance of adult acne as well. Avoid drinking liquor, alcohol-based beverages and smoking. It will just make your face riddled with acne. Do you want to know more about health and wellness? Would you like to know how to live a healthy and natural lifestyle? You have reached the right place, the Natural Healthy Lifestyle channel. We really would love you subscribe and activate the bell. It would be very appreciated. And remember, we love you. So we will help you to have a natural and healthy lifestyle. Take care of your health. And enjoy life.